until yeah. dawn remastered reactions on that what'd you think so i was thinking maybe like when they first initially started showing it i'm like i knew what it was but i was like oh is this another one is it continuing on it was a remaster it's a remaster and they're adding some new elements into it and i loved until dawn i still do and so i'm really excited for this in my mind i'm thinking is it really old enough to have a remaster? I mean, not that I care. I'm going to play this and I'm going to play it. But then, you know, somebody else reminded me on X over here that, you know, it's probably to pump it up that they are going to be having a movie. I'm like, oh, that's right. So this is a smart play. And I'm excited about it to get people to either play it again or play it for the first time and experience it leading up to it. Kind of like how they did for The Last of Us. So I'm like, yeah, that's right. And you know what? Either way, I'm not disappointed. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go and enjoy it again and fall in love with it all over again for all of the scares and how it's it kind of, you know, it, the way it's storytelling and it's interactive, which is it's funny because we're going to talk about Kojima later, but I'm going to reference back to this because that's like what I feel is pretty interactive because you have a lot of stuff that came out like Man, uh, Man of Madon that has that very, very similar elements to it. So I'm stoked. I have no problem like I thought it was a fantastic game. Yeah, so it could be just me, right? Was Until Dawn a scary game? Um, yes, I would. I would say it was a scary game. I wouldn't say it's like a horror game, like like Silent Hill, okay, or Resident Evil. But yeah, I would say it had the certain like maybe uh, maybe it'd be better described as a thriller. Okay, because I was thrown I, off. I think so because there's there's jump scare moments and there's really intense like heart racing moments. But I feel like it's like that in between horror and thriller, but I would put it more on the thriller side. Was it was it one of those games where there was like button timing? You have to press circle at, at a certain time or Sometimes. so you had you had Sometimes those time decision making factors. Right. How it affects the storyline. OK. All right. So, and this will be the first PC release, right? I believe so. OK. Yeah, because because I always thought that it was like, you know, it was surprising to me when I was looking at it, I was like, okay, what genre is this? And I was like, it, is it a scary game? Uh, like, you know, to me, it was kind of thrown off. Like when I was watching, I was like, oh, this is, this is interesting. I remember seeing different things for Until Dawn, but I, n I never really, I guess, classify what genre it would be. And so to me, it was kind of, it threw me off a little bit. But in terms of, you know, remastering, looking amazing on screen, you know, you're going to get that. And one of the things that you said before, when it comes to, you know, the marketing for, for games, you know, PlayStation, has done well recently right and 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 i think that we both can agree that uh this is this is a great play and i didn't even realize that they were going to do a movie for until dawn so thank you for for that bit of information but i mean it looks good you know i don't have anything you know negative there i'll watch it from afar <laughs> you know because if it's any scary you know if it's any scary i am not playing it i'm just not <laughs> okay so, so that's that's where i draw the line